Hello guys and welcome to Draco Ray Gaming. Today we're going to be talking about Streamlabs OBS errors, crashes. I'm going to show you how to fix it and get some more stability going. If you're having any of those issues when you're streaming, when you're recording, I'm going to help you with some tips of mine. Uh, I recently had some issues and I got to get some experience on how to fix that. So let's jump right into it as usual. No BS. Oakley dokley, here we are. Um, let's get the simple stuff out of the way. Not here wasting your time, promise you. Uh, but this is important. A lot of people forget this. I want you to right click here. You always need to run this as administrator. Run Streamlabs or run OBS as administrator. A lot of people don't even have it set. I didn't even realize I didn't even have it set. So you can run it here manually each time or you can go into properties, compatibility, and then you can click run this program as administrator and click apply and it'll do that every single time it launches the program. That's all you have to do for that. It's one simple step. Um, another thing I want you to check out when you're running uh, Streamlabs OBS or OBS is checking all your stream settings. There's things in here for CPU uh, uh, affinity and process that puts it out of priority. Um, I want you to make sure too that your encoders are set correctly, that you're on CBR, um, you know, you can use NVEC or X264, depending on X264 is for your CPU, NVEC is for your graphics card built-in encoder if you have NVIDIA, um, that's what I'm using. Uh, I do CBR rate control, 5000 bit rate right now, zero keyframe intervals, profile high, uh, I'm using my main GPU zero and then max B frames too. Uh, make sure your audio settings are most the stock settings should be good for most. Um, I run a nine, I run a 1080 base canvas, 720 resolution, and then I sharpen it up uh, with the Lansco Sharpen Scaling 32 samples. I've shown this in some other videos, so uh, you can also check those out there for actual bitrate settings and things like that if you're interested in it. Continuing on, this is one of the most key important things here in advance is you can set the process priority. You can even set it on the fly. You can set it for high, above normal, normal. So uh, there's some window settings you can do as well, which I'll show you. But right here, if you have it on above normal or normal, normal works for most people, but depending on your system, um, like I know I'm playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare and in Warzone right now, especially with season six, it's fighting for resources on my system when I'm streaming. So you may want to actually set uh, a process in here that may help you. If this doesn't help, there's another process affinity you can check and that's in your task manager. And if you bring up your task manager, you can go to uh, Streamlabs OBS and you can actually set the priority here or you can set the affinity. The affinity means you can actually assign CPUs, logical CPU cores or threaded threads uh, to the application to focus just on the application. I mean, you can actually set certain cores or threads to just focus on the game and certain cores and threads to focus on Streamlabs OBS. You can, uh, this can help alleviate, alleviate a lot of errors uh, for people. Also setting the priority for it, uh, letting the computer know, hey, this is a really important application. Out of all the things I'm running, I want you to focus on my game and Streamlabs, um, or I want you two processors to focus here and I want the rest of you to focus on the game. Um, and that can really, really make a huge performance difference, stability difference, etc. I also noticed depending on how intense your setup is in Streamlabs, mine is pretty graphical and intense and I've got moving images and things going on all the time, um, you know, it can fight for, for RAM and other resources in your system. So make sure you got enough RAM, you know, eight gigs is not gonna cut it for me. 16 barely cuts it for me. I actually upgraded to 32 because I just, I run a lot of different things when I'm streaming and gaming at the same time. I have a single PC setup. So this is really important for Streamlabs. Check this out. Um, Another thing I wanted to show you was if worse comes to worse, if you absolutely can't get it to work at all, um, one of the biggest fixes for me, especially after some time, you will have a lot of different images, graphics errors, like uh, profiles, like my, my, I'll show you right now, my, my Streamlabs OBS that I'm using right now to record this is is loaded man i have like a bunch of scenes i've got tons of stuff going on in here this is like live one i use and uh sometimes it just it gets a little overwhelming for your system depending on you know what kind of crazy things you know my, i've been using mine a long time it's kind, it's kind of trashy i need to fix it up because it's kind of uh, taking up resources so what i ended up actually having to do is you have some cache folders and plugin folders um and this is how i fixed a lot of issues with with uh warzone was that if you go into here First of all, make sure show hidden files and folders is on when you do this fix. Uh, basically, we're gonna uninstall Streamlabs OBS. We're gonna go hunt down all the cache folders and junk that it leaves, plugins, etc., and we're gonna gut that out. And that's gonna allow us to do a fresh clean install 
of Streamlabs and correct any uh, ongoing issues that are also contributing to your system crashing. So uh, show hidden files and folders. We probably can, let me, I think you can just type it. Yeah, you can just type it or Google how to do it. But uh, what you wanna do is go to File Explorer Options and click Show Hidden Files and Folders and Drives and apply that and click OK. And then you will see these hidden folders. For instance, go to Users, go to your username, mine's Draco, App Data. You can see it's kind of grayed out because it's typically a hidden folder. So go to App Data. Uh, um, I'm gonna delete everything in roaming. These are the two folders you're really looking for here is the Slabs Client and Slabs uh, Plugin folders. I just deleted the whole things. Uh, just get rid of them. You don't need them anymore. Um, and what you're really looking for in there specifically, I believe, is the plugins folder. There's a uh, this plugins folder here and this data folder. Those are the two main ones you're really looking for here, and you want to just get get rid of those. Um, and then, so just to be safe, I gutted everything, and it was fine. Uh, a reminder, though, before you do this, um, back it up. Make sure your stuff's saving to the cloud. But I would actually grab these folders and and make copies of them and back them up in a different location. For instance, get both of these. And, and copy them and uh, place just place them somewhere else on your system. Um, when I deleted these, they were pretty big. They were like two to six gigs, three to six gigs. And uh, there was a lot of stuff in there that no longer needed we needed. So now they're only like 450 megabytes, as you can see on both folders, which is awesome. So there obviously was a bunch of data and junk in there that, that I didn't even need. Gigs and gigs of stuff you didn't need. Now my stuff's running smoother, stronger, stabler, and a stabler at work. Uh, but more stable and, and it's only 450 megs for both those folders. So uninstall the application, delete those folders. I'd also go into local, uh, knock out local low, I didn't see anything in there, but if you go into local here and look for your OBS or slobs folders, just delete them. Um, this applies to OBS as well. So uh, and like in here, I think there was maybe one uh, and I'm not even seeing it now. I might have not come back after I reinstalled the system. So check both folders. All these folders are local and roaming. Delete anything you see for OBS or slobs. And ladies, ladies, gentlemen, people, human beings, that is my four huge things and tips, my main tips for fixing uh, crashes, errors, and, and anything kind of going wrong with Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio. Uh, so I really hope this helps you guys. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It'll motivate me to keep making these videos. Check me out live. We'll be doing some live gaming here with uh, Modern Warfare on YouTube. And as always, I appreciate all of your guys' comments. And I will try to comment to each one I can. So I will catch you guys next time.